This is a review of the Conlin uh, Q that comes with a carbon fiber shaft. I got it on Amazon for $340. It's a nice looking cue. It says Conlin on the butt and J Flowers on the shaft. There's a small defect under the finish here. The joint is perfectly flush. There's carbon fiber going down the butt. The serial number is on all the parts. Here you can see it on the pin as well. The shaft screws on and off very easily, like it was going into a brass insert. The cue comes with the specification cards. And everything was pretty much right on. The total length, not counting the tip or the rubber bumper, is 58 and a 16th inches. Here's the diameter in millimeters at various distances from the tip. It's a really long taper. Eight thirty-eight inches at the joint. The shaft has a very slight warp. It's about a credit card thickness change in light. The tip does not leave the table when you roll it. Neither does the end of the joint. The butt is perfectly straight. Here's the button the shaft rolled together. And it rolls pretty well. You can see the slight warp in the shaft, but it's not too bad. I'm going to get ready to hit some balls now. And this is actually the very first time I'm using this cue. Uh, it will be on camera. So I wanted to test uh, how the deflection of the cue was. So uh, I'm going to just shoot some random balls at first, and then, then I'm going to set up some specific shots with a lot of spin. And I've been playing with a Predator cue for since the late 90s. So anytime I've tried any other cue, I can barely make a ball. I'm so used to the Predator. And here you can see right out of the gate, I'm making quite a bit of, quite a large number of balls uh, using this carbon fiber shaft. So it's pretty close to the aim of the Predator. Now I'm going to set up specific shots that are spin shots in multiple directions. So if I was using a wood shaft here, uh, that's not a predator. These would all, would all be missing by a mile. But So the deflection is definitely low on this. Uh, but as I played with it more and more, it's definitely not as low as a predator. So if you're used to uh, a 314 or a Z, uh, whether first, second, or third generation, uh, this will definitely be more deflection than any of those cues. Uh, I've played with all of them since the late 90s, uh, and I settled on the 314 too, but I've tried all of them, and this for sure has more deflection. If you're coming from a brand that's not a Predator, I would say this probably has less deflection if it's a wood shaft. I was actually trying to two rail the eight there and not make it straight in. And you'll see me, I'll be switching back and forth between this cue and the Predator. Uh, here I missed this shot a few times with this cue. 
and then I'm going to switch to the Predator and I'm going to make it on the first try. And that shot too I miss and then I switch to the Predator it goes right in. So the, the aim is definitely a little bit different uh, due to the increased deflection. Uh, the other thing that's quite a bit different is the taper. The taper is really long. So the, the tip is roughly the same diameter as a 314, a, a little bit smaller, but the region in your bridge hand is noticeably smaller. So when you're stroking the cue, it feels uh, quite a bit smaller than the Predator does. Uh, the other thing with it being carbon fiber, it's extremely smooth. Uh, with the wood shaft, there's a little bit of stickiness and uh, it's a certain amount of friction that, that I, at least I'm used to. Uh, but with the carbon fiber shaft, it, it, there's no friction at all. So sometimes it felt like it was actually too smooth. Uh, another thing that was kind of interesting was it felt like the cue was really light. Uh, it was, I think it was 19 ounces, so it's not a light cue in, in general. But when it was moving the cue ball around, it felt like I had to use more muscle to get uh, a similar effect uh, as my Predator uh, cue. Uh, for me personally, uh, the reason I bought this cue I bought this cue in order to have a cue to leave in my car year round and anytime I have a whim to go to the pool hall it will always be there and this way I can leave my expensive predator cues at home. I have a bunch of predator cues and uh, I don't want them to warp in the car if I leave them there year round. Unfortunately I can't do that because the, the deflection is noticeably different between this and the predator series. Uh, so I'm probably going to return this cue, and that's the whole reason I got her on Amazon Prime, so I can return it easily. That said, I do think the cue is a really good value, and it's a really nice carbon fiber shaft. And if you're not already in the Predator ecosystem, which I have been for 25 years now, uh, and super used to their aim, then I would say uh, this is definitely a good value and worthy of consideration if you're looking for a carbon fiber shaft. That's all. Thanks for watching.